Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are going to talk about a cardiac poison known as Echo Night. So let's get started. First of all, let's have an introduction on what cardiac poisons are. So as the name is suggesting, cardiac poison. Cardiac means anything that is related to the heart, right? So any poison that is affecting the heart is known as cardiac poison now this poison may act in two ways it can either directly affect the musculature of the heart that is the cardiac muscles or it can affect the heart by affecting the nervous supply of the heart now these poisons they generally produce deleterious effects deleterious effects means that they are going to produce a situation of delirium delirium is basically uh, we can say a mental abnormality in which the person is confused or the person has reduced awareness of what's happening around him or her. So uh, these cardiac poisons are responsible for producing deleterious effects on the action of the heart due to poisoning of the cardiac muscle or of its conducting system. Now these cardiac poisons can be obtained from poisonous plants and i'll be discussing some of the important cardiac poison producing plants out of which one is echonite then we have nicotine we have digitalis oleander and quinine in this particular video we are going to discuss about echonite plant so let's get started with it all right so now let's start with echonite it this plant is also known as monk's hood or mita zehar or bish these are the common names that are used for this plant all parts of the plant are poisonous however the root is the most potent so all the parts of the plant are poisonous but the root is the most poisonous part dry root is conical or tapering shows bases of the broken rootlets and shriveled with longitudinal wrinkles it is about 5 to 10 centimeters long 1.5 to 2 centimeters thick at the upper end and dark brown in color so here are some specific characteristics of the root area of the aconite plant its size is around 5 to 10 centimeters thickness is 1.5 to 2 centimeters so you can see that it is quite thick and it is dark brown in color so the roots might be mistaken for horse radish root these are two different things so they can be confused with each other now the plant aconite is grown in garden for its attractive flowers as you can see in this picture the flowers are quite attractive so they are grown in the himalayan ranges in india it belongs to the family renan culaci all the parts of the plant are poisonous as i just said but the root is chiefly used as a poison there are several species of aconite but there are two main species out of all those first is aconitum ferox and another one is aconitum nepellus and uh, the, these two plants are commonly available and commonly used for poison if we chew the parts of the plant we get a tingling sensation and then a numbness is felt in the tongue lips and mouth area wherever the poison has come in contact with the skin now if we talk about the active principles then there are five main active principles of this particular plant species you need to remember the name aconitine pseudo aconitine and aconitine picra aconitine and echo 9 right so now let's talk about the action of this plant aconitine so the most common active principle of aconite plant is aconitine so aconitine is first going to stimulate and then it is going to lead to paralysis of the peripheral termination of nerves which nerves sensory nerves and the secretory nerves so sensory nerves are those nerves that are responsible for sensing right and secretory nerves are those nerves that 
increases or stimulates the activity of the vascular system so aconitine is going to paralyze these nerves then it is going to paralyze the central nervous system and the nerves of myocardium that is nerves of the heart nerves of the skeletal system and the smooth muscles so aconitine is going to paralyze all these kinds of nerves it does not affect the higher centers of the brain as the consciousness remains intact till the end now let's talk about the properties of aconitine it is colorless it is transparent if you look at this picture these are the crystals of aconitine they are rhombic in shape here also these are crystals these this white area and these here you can see are the microscopic form of the aconitine crystals they are insoluble in water aconitine is insoluble in water but it is readily soluble in benzene and chloroform now let's talk about the signs and symptoms so if we talk about the gastrointestinal tract symptoms then we get to see nausea vomiting salivation pain in the abdomen bitter sweet taste is there severe burning can be felt tingling of the tongue can be felt in the mouth and the throat as well followed by numbness of tongue mouth and throat if we look at the cardiovascular symptoms then the blood pressure is going to decrease the pulse is also going to decrease or it is going to be feeble and irregular then if we talk about the central nervous system then vertigo is seen restlessness headache giddiness these are the signs and symptoms of central nervous system if we talk about the muscular system then the muscles become weak with twitchings and spasm if we talk about the respiratory system then it is going to become slow labored and shallow ocular pupils alternatively starts to contract and dilate and impaired vision can also be seen other than this temperature is subnormal that is lower than the normal temperature and the skin is cold now let's talk about the treatment so here first of all we can give gastric lavage with tannic acid or activated charcoal then atropine can be given 0.5 to 1 mg intravenously then cardiac monitoring can be done and symptomatic treatment should also be can also be given according to the symptoms that can be seen in the individual if we'll talk about the post mortem findings then the, the findings are not that specific and we can generally see the findings to be related to asphyxia that is the findings that we see in cases of asphyxia are also seen in the case of aconite poisoning organs are generally found to be congested fragments of root may be found in the stomach of the individual the fatal dose if root has been ingested then the um, amount of root that has to be taken in order to lead to fatality then that is 1 to 2 g and if aconitine is taken then 2 to 5 g the fatal period is around 2 to 6 hours if we talk about the medical legal aspects then it is cheap very readily available plant lethal dose is small as we have already seen that it is in milligrams and the fatal period is also small 2 to 6 hours only color can be distinguished by mixing it with pink color drinks so we have seen that the color is basically it is colorless right so it can easily be mixed in any drink and it no one will be able to find out that certain poison has been mixed in the drink taste can be masked by mixing it with sweet or by giving it with betel leaves extremely unstable it is and destroyed by putrefaction hence it cannot be detected by chemical analysis since the chemical is extremely unstable it is going to change its form because of the putrefaction process we won't be able to identify the chemical it is also used as an abortifacient suicide is not commonly seen so this was all about aconite i hope you found the video to be useful please share it with your friends thank you for watching